So guys, I've been struggling to get my Xbox One controller to work with Steep, and I think I finally found a reliable way to get the problem solved on Steam, by the way. So I'm gonna talk you guys through this and hopefully it helps a few guys out there who are struggling with the same problem. First thing what you wanna do is you wanna open Steam in big picture mode. It's a little button up here on the top right hand corner. You click that and it opens up this interface. It's like a full screen interface in case you're not familiar with it. It's the same as Steam, just fills your whole screen. You can use your gamepad to control it basically. What you want to do in here is you go to the top right hand corner, to the settings, little cogwheel up here. Click that, go to controller settings. In here you want to make sure that the Xbox configuration support box is ticked. Then go to back, back once again and find Steep in your library. Once you've done that, you can uh, go to Manage Game, which is just here on the left-hand side, and open your controller configuration. Now, what's interesting here is that none of the buttons, at least on my controller, are bound to anything. Uh, it's a bit odd. So what you want to do is you want to browse configurations. And if you're using a controller to, you can actually quickly switch this, I think, right? Yes, yeah, so check this. Now on the bottom, it says Browse Configurations. You press X. Uh, and uh, a mistake that many people make is that they go with the official configuration for Steep. It's reasonable, it's from Ubisoft, and you would think that is perfect. However, it leaves your controller unbound, uh, with all buttons unbound. What you want to do is go to Community, um, and this is a bit tricky. What you have to do is, like, the one that worked for me is this one here on the top. It has eight upvotes, uh, and when you click it, you see that the buttons are suddenly bound, right? On the bottom, you see the up, down, left, right, uh, you know, the D-pad and so, so on, have actual actions bound to them. Um, but some of the other configurations, like this one, even it has a lot of upvotes, there are no bindings. And so this would not work. So you need to find the one in the list that actually has bindings, like this one, and then press X to apply the configuration. Uh, so once you've done that, you press B, go back to your game and run it, and your controller should just work fine. Let's try it out right now. And as you can see, the controller configuration has been loaded. And I can press A to start the game. The controller works now and uh, the buttons should all be functional as you would expect them to be. So I hope this helped you guys a little bit and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button underneath. You can also subscribe to the channel. I do loads of other fun content as well. It would be great to have you around for a live stream or something. Anyway, I hope this helped you guys. Take care and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Bye, guys.